Hello, I have already shown you in previous lessons how to create Lightroom profiles for RAW files based on lots. However, not everyone shoots in RAW, many shoot in JPEG. For example, I have such series shot in JPEG with Fujifilm X-T2. For any JPEG file in Lightroom, there is a standard set of color profiles. I think it would be a good idea to diversify them with my own profiles based on lots. In this video, I will show you how it can be done. Creating profiles for JPEGs is even easier than for RAWs. I have already loaded my file in 3D LUT Creator. What remains is to grade it. I'll start with Channel Mixer. Then I'm going to increase saturation in midtones and reduce it in highlights. I will make neutral colors darker and saturated colors brighter with the help of LumaSat Curve. This will make the texture stand out. I'm going to adjust saturation, hue, and contrast in 2D curves. That's what happened. Here's before, here is after. I'll slightly reduce the blue tint. Now I will save this lot. I'll name it Mood 1. I'm going to create another LUT based on a preset from LUT Manager. Let's see what I can choose here. I like this one. I'll save it as Mood 2. Done. What should I do next? I already have this image opened in Photoshop but you can load any JPEG file you want. Now I'm going to Filters menu and choosing Adobe Camera Raw. Here I'm going to Presets tab, holding down Alt and clicking on the icon of a new preset. A new profile window appears. I'll name my first profile Mood 1 and load my first LUT here. Done. I'm going to do the same with another LUT. I'll name second profile Mood 2. Now it only remains to restart Lightroom so that the newly created profiles appear there. I'm opening the list of profiles and I see that my new profiles have appeared. That's how the first one works. And here's the second one. A profile effect can be reduced by using the amount slider. Also, the profile effect can be adjusted using white balance. I'll make this photo a little warmer. Let's see how my profiles work on other shots. Here, Mood 2 looks even more interesting. Once again, I'll show you how to adjust the profile effect using white balance. This image looks reddish. When reducing the white balance, I get the separation of colors into cold and warm. Here is before, here is after. Thus, it is not necessary to adjust the profile effect using the slider. You can do this using white balance. The final adjustments of the photo can be done with Lightroom tools. Here, I will make the white balance a little colder. Here is before, here is after. The Mood 2 profile has a lower saturation, so if you want to increase it, you can do it in Lightroom. For example, like this. Thus, you can retain color harmony created by profile. Also note that profiles created this way will be available for any JPEG files, which makes them universal. That's all. I hope this video was useful. If something is not clear, ask me in the comments. See you in the new lesson. Bye everyone!